So here is our pinafore reversible peplum. So if you want to know how to make this beautiful piece, be sure to watch the video till the end. This is Joy Dala Fashion Guide. Welcome to my channel. I am Chi Joy. It's a new month. I pray that you all exceed your expectations this month in the name of Jesus. You are all welcome. Thank you for supporting this channel. And you, if you are new to this channel, you are welcome too. Please do it to support us too by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to make the trending reversible pinafore, pinafore peplum blouse. I'll be using the 360 degree flare for mine, so without wasting much time, we'll just see how we're going to go about it. So these are the two fabrics that I'm going to be working with. They are a yard each, though the yardage is not to 36, just 34. So do where to get more for yours if you want a fuller flame. I'm going to be making a 360 degree flame. So I'll be using these two fabric. So this is the pattern that I'm going to be using. First of all, the shoulder, my shoulder is 17. And the blouse length is going to be 24. The half length is 16 inches. And then the half length is 16 inches. And then I'll be taking 2 inches for the band. So I'm going to be having a half length of 14 inches. So to cut it out, I'll be cutting 15 inches. And then the flare length is 8 inches. I'm going to be cutting the flare with 360 degree. And my waist is 36. So 36 divided by 6.28 to get the radius. If you want, if you don't know how to calculate for flame, you can check my channel. I have videos on that. So 36 divided by 6.28. I have 5.73 as my radius. And then to know the amount of fabric to put on full. You add the length of flare to the radius to know how much to put on full so that you don't waste your fabric. So the radius and the flare length, I have approximated the radius to 6 and the flare length is 8, making 14. So that means I'll be folding my fabric 14 by 14 and I'll fold it such that I can fold it into 4. I'm going to be folding it into 4. But the dimension is going to be 14 inches by 14 inches. I will show you when I want to cut. So for the upper, for the half, um, the half length side. So to do that, you need your pattern. So I've gone ahead to draft this pattern. What you do is to measure half of your shoulder measurement. You take half of your shoulder measurement. Mine is 8.5, which is here. And then you take the shoulder slant, one inch. For the neck width, I'm using 3.5 inches. And then for the neck depth, for the back neck depth, I'm using one and a half. While for the front, I'm using five and a half. And then I've gone ahead to mark out the neck depth for the back. And this is the neck depth for the front. So the length, of the half length like i said i'm going to be using 15 so i have here 15. so the the sewing allowance has been added to this already and when cutting out remember to also add half inch seam allowance to the shoulder and then after marking the shoulder out the next thing is to mark out the darts or the bust span measurement my bust span divided by two my bust span is eight divided by two is four and i went ahead to add half inch seam allowance and then on this shoulder line, I'm going to, since you are not going to be making use of the shoulder, I'm going to come in by one inch. And I've marked the one inch here. And then this is the four inches. 
and I'm going to add to add half inch, half inch seam allowance. So I've already added seam allowance to this pattern. I'll just complete the shoulder when I'm cutting out my fabric. So to cut out this fabric, to cut out this pattern, I'll be cutting out the back piece only first, like this. So I'll cut out just the back neckline. So I'm going to use this to cut out my pattern. I'll cut out the back first. After cutting out the back, then I'll recut here for the front. So first of all, we're going to cut out our peplum. So don't forget we are folding 14 inches by 14. We are using 14 by 14. So this is the 14 by 14 cut out. 14 by 14 and folded it into four. And this is the second one. Uh, you can cut them together or you cut them separately. Cut together. So our radius is So here is the radius. So I've reduced it to 5.5. .5. So 9. That is 18. And then that is 36. And then the length of flare is 8 inches. So from the beginning, you can just mark both of them out. So this is the length of flare. And then we need the same allowance to sew to turn the flare. So just add half inch. And then add half inch for the top. This is the same allowance. And this will be cutting on five. So after cutting, you now have a length of nine inches so that's when time you finish sewing it will become eight so you have nine okay. 
So we use this to cut the second one. Just place it on it. This is the side that is open. Place it on it like this. System. And then we are going to cut out one side open. And we keep same. the middle. Be careful not to cut both of them. Just cut the only one. Mm -hmm. So the flare is ready. Let's cut the upper side. So we're going to cut out the back. The back is on fold. This is the back. We use it to cut the second one, and then we cut out the front. So this for the front piece, and then the center front is open. So this is the back and this is the front. So we we'll use this to cut out the other one. So all our patterns are ready. This is for the two flame. This is for the back and this is for the front. Then we'll be using this for the band. We'll cut it into two to make it long. For the band we'll be ironing this interfacing on it so cut it into two i'll iron it on it cut it to two so it to make it long if you are using inter if you like to add interfacing to yours this is the point whereby you add interfacing add interfacing to the paper the wrong side but i will not be using interfacing and then i'm going to sew from one end to another After that, you are going to join the front and the back at the shoulder. You join the back piece. This is the front piece. We are going to be joining the shoulders together. So we join them at the shoulder using the seam allowance of, of kits, using 0.5 inch seam allowance. So we're going to be joining the shoulders. So let's go to the sewing. So let's go to, let's go and sew. So we are starting with our peplum. You can start with any one. If we pin them together, right side facing each other. And then we sew with the same allowance like this.
So I think send it from we also sew the side. Close up the side. Same for the other side. So we are going to sew on both sides. You know, then we are going to notch it around this curve part. Use the scissors that is not too sharp so you don't cut through your seam. So after notching it around like that. Bring it inside out. This work my units. So we join their shoulders, just pin the shoulder, the front and the back together and join them. Join each fabric separately. I'm also join the other one. So I finished joining the shoulders. So before we continue, we're going to press open the shoulder seam like this on both sides, on both fabrics. So I have ironed the peplum. It is looking so beautiful. I've also ironed the band this is the band and then we have ironed we have pressed open the shoulders then we pin them together right side facing each other and then we are going to sew we are going to sew the sides join the sides together I'm going to sew the side for one end of the other. For one end to the other. Then I'm going to sew around this um, the neckline. So let just sew it. So not round this cover part. So not sure. So we have sewn round the neckline and I also stitched the front. So I'm going to sew the sides now. Sew down the side for one end to the other. The other side as well. Turn it out. And turn it. So this is what we have after iron. So beautiful. So we are going to so just put the peplum together like this and notch the mid the middle. And also notch the middle of of the band. 
then we are going to be sewing it matching the fabric together like this and this to this side So go ahead and pin it all around. So after pinning, we're going to sew. So we just sew from one end to the other. We sew this, we close the side of the band as well. So this is what it looks like. So if you go, if I go iron it, I'm going to flip it over like this and iron it. So this is what we have after ironing. We are almost true. So we are going to be attaching the upper. Or this so mark the middle on the peplum this is the new point here and then mark the middle of those back like this so we are going to be so you need your pins at this stage to so just pin it in place and also pin the front in place so to make it easier you can go ahead and pin one side like this we'll sew here first then before we fold it in so that you can secure it well before we now sew here, so we are going to repeat the same for the front side. So let's sew here first. So, after we should now go ahead and fold it in. And sew this on top like this. So you can use your pin to hold it in place. This is what we have. So for the front side, where the peplum ends, we we'll stitch it here. So you can also do it the same way. And put it in like this first. To sew. After we should turn it inside and sew the top. So we finished pinning it in place. So what I'm going to do is just to sew from one end to the other, and we are through. Thank you. 
so harske uh peplum pinafore peplum is ready so we have come to the end of the video here is our peplum pinafore peplum so i hope you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to like this video share this video and of course leave comments below in the comment section let me know what you think about this peplum and if there is any other thing you want us to to do video on please kindly suggest it below until next time when i come your way i remain g joy and don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe bye for now